need to let our lights shine. We're going to get into the light of the gospel, but that's not the only light when the Bible is referring to letting our light shine. It's the light of God's word. We already saw that the word of the Lord is a lamp before our feet. It instructs us and it gives us the, the, the way that we need to go. Matthew chapter 5, look at verse number 13. The Bible says, Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on an hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men. Look at what it says here then. And this is what he means by letting your light shine, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The end goal, ultimately, between, for all of this stuff, is that God gets the glory. That's the very end. Hey, God gets all the glory. But in order for God to get the glory, people need to see the light. And how are they going to see the light? Well, they're going to see the light through your good works, through what you do, the way that you live your life. That is supposed to be letting the, the light that's inside of you, the word of God, come out and be broadcast for all to see. Yes, it's in word, but it's also in deed and in truth. We can't just love in word. We need to love in deed also, which means actions, doing things. Turn, if you would, to Philippians chapter 2. We're going to get into a little bit more detail on how we can let our light shine. Just be a little bit more specific because these are all references in Scripture of letting our lights shine. saying the whole purpose of lighting a candle is to see around you to open up you know so you're not walking into walls right that's why you light a candle you light a candle at night in darkness to preliminate around you as you can see you can know what's going on it would be stupid to light a candle let's say the power goes out you got no lights and you know oh, i need to find a candle let's light a candle all right i got the perfect place for this candle to help us out right underneath this bowl <laughs> We're just going to put it over there. Wait a minute. You, you, there's, it's not producing any light. It's worthless. And the light that God has given you through the knowledge of his word, it's going to be worthless to everybody else if you don't let it come out. If you don't shine that light. I use it, we'll get to the, to the gospel in just a minute, but I mean, just think about this. Hey, praise the Lord if you're saved today. Right? You have eternal life. You receive the gift of salvation. That is great for you, but what good does it do anybody else for you to have a gift and not tell anyone else, hey, by the way, there's this gift, there's this free gift that you can get too. So do them no good. Philippians chapter 2, look at verse number 14. The Bible says, do all things without murmurings and disputings. What's murmurings? Complaining. God hates complainers. I think men hate complainers too. It's just one of those things. You, just don't, you don't want to hear that. People complaining, especially fathers and, and people who are in authority, right? The last thing you want to hear is just people complaining, especially when you're telling them to do something that's good, something that's right. Or kids that complain about the food you provide for them. You know, the dad goes off and he works and he, and, he, and he busts his rear end and he does all this stuff and he sweats and he makes his money and mom toils and works in the kitchen to provide a meal for their children and the children go, oh, I don't like this. Oh, I don't want to eat this. Oh, this... Uh... Don't complain. We need to be careful that we don't have the same attitude. Oh, I can't believe God wants me to you know, say something that's going to offend people. Oh, I can't believe that. I need to go out. It's, don't you know it's hot outside? I don't want to go out and knock on doors. Oh, I don't want to do that. I'm tired. I've got other things to do. They're complaining. The Bible says, do all things without murmurings and disputings and just fighting over everything. Verse 15, 
Why do we, should we do all things without murmurings and disputings? That you may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God. So the attribute of being a child of God is doing things, just doing what you're supposed to do. Don't complain about it. Don't fight about it. Don't argue about it. Just do it. Just do it. So we can be blameless. So no one can say, oh yeah, that person, they're really bringing people down through all their complaining and stuff. No, we need to be blameless, harmless, the sons of God without rebuke. No reason to be corrected because we're doing what we're supposed to be doing. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among whom ye shine as lights in the world. We are supposed to be lights to this dark world. It's darkness. And without Jesus Christ, there is no light. Because the world is dark. We need to be shining that light. Verse 16, holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain, neither labored in vain.